The information presented is for informational purposes only. The opinions expressed are not necessarily the opinions of any Daikin company. This information should not be confused for accounting, legal, medical, or other professional advice. Please seek advice from a qualified professional for any specific questions. Welcome to the Accelerated HVAC Success Program. My name is Ben Middleton. I'm the National Sales Training Manager for the Goodman, Amana, and Dykin Brands. Today, we're joined here with Sally Cobb. She is the Senior Product Manager for Air Conditioners and Coils. Sally, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. So, Sally, the first question I ask everyone, how in the world did you get into the HVAC industry? I'm going to give you the short version today. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer. I spent seven years in power generation around Houston as a plant engineer had a career break, and when I wanted to start my career over, I like to say that HVAC finds you. You don't find HVAC unless it's your family business. So here I am. So we've got all kinds of changes going on this year. It seems like every year for the last couple of years, we've got all kinds of changes going on in the industry. Uh, mm -hmm. But this year in particular, we're talking about this uh, change over to A2Ls. And, you know, the big thing that I wanted to talk about is what are the main change points that uh, contractors can look for in our outdoor units? Right. So the what's going on and the why has been covered extensively in other HVAC learning um, podcasts yeah. and references, all that. So we are going to get to the what. What are the details um, and what does that mean for our consumers and customers? So I did bring a little bit of show and tell to go along with our unit. Um, first off, you know, we've talked about the efficiency of R32 extensively. Mm -hmm. um, and what is that allowing us to do in our outdoor product? First and foremost, for AC and heat pump, we have a reduced charge. So we get to use a significant less amount of refrigerant. So that's a pretty big deal um, with the differences in the charge. Secondly, is that we have been able to reduce the footprint and the height in, wow. in many of our models. So this one is particular is our um, multifamily AC. So it previously was in a 29 inch chassis and we were able to reduce it into a 26 inch chassis. So not only does that save on materials, it's gonna save for distribution, um, space and all of that, it is a compounded savings. And so um, a lot of different examples like that, but this is the, that particular one. Well, and if it's multifamily, it even saves on weight that you have absolutely. up on the roof. Absolutely, absolutely. So, I mean, that's a huge deal. I think every contractor listening to this, um, is that something, I mean, we're talking about going to A2Ls, but is that something that is a specific benefit to R32 versus maybe some of the other uh, available refrigerants that are out there? Or is it something that we're genuinely, generally going to see? Well, not a lot of specs have come sure. out yet from sure. our competitors. So we're really focused on ourselves and getting the best for our customers. So um, I, we believe we have an advantage, strongly believe we have an advantage here um, because of those benefits. So... Um, we also have some different heat exchanger sizes, not just the out, outside dimensions, uh, other th savings as well. Um, you know, I don't know if you're, you're able to talk to this, but uh, we made some changes a while ago just in the diameter of our tubing. Is that something that uh, is enhanced as we move to R32? Do we yes. realize more advantages? Previously, it was up to a three ton, depending on the family size. Um, and now we're going all the way up to five ton with five millimeter tubing for outdoors. So, yes. And so that also help reduce the size and the weight as, as we go up into those larger sizes. Absolutely. All right. You got some other show and okay, tell here. So, here's so my tell show me and about tell. this stuff. So this is a high pressure switch. We've always had it on all our heat pumps and on select ACs. So every product is going to get it. Um, every AC is going to have this. Um, this is our contactor, which pre previously was not enclosed. And so now we've got that enclosed. That's going to be a benefit as well. Um, if this was on a turnstile and I could turn it around, you would see that we have red valves, um, okay. and that will indicate that it's the A2L. So we've got that going on. Um, this is not on the unit. This is a reverse thread adapter that will be used for the R32 uh, cylinders. So you could use a reverse threaded hose, or you know we have these ad adapters. So we've had these avail available for ordering. Um, as we have thank our ductless team for mm -hmm. blazing the way from us, uh, we have had this worldwide and then they were able to launch their atmosphere product in 2021. So we work closely with them, um, and utilize their 
experience as well. So we're bringing all of that together. So, so when we talk about in, in our 32 unit, I think some of the big concerns or questions, I should say, that contractors have, what really is the difference on installing this? You brought a couple of things. So we got reverse threads. Mm-hmm. We got red valves. Um, are there any major other major differences? I don't believe so that there's any <laughs> other major differences. We, we do work closely with the training team, um, and so they will be able to cover that extensively. But, no, there's not much difference. Okay. Um, so do we have anything new coming out uh, that's going to be different <laughs> from uh, our, our previous units? All right, we sure do. So, you know, we worked on all of our systems. We are going to have some more horizontal matchups extensively, um, as well as for our side discharge products, we are going to have horizontal coils that are able to have dual fuel for our side discharge. So that will be new um, oh, and awesome. exciting and expand all of the applications and opportunities for our customers. So one of the other questions I think a lot of people always have, uh, R32 gives us some more um, uh, capabilities in the extreme temperature ranges. So can you speak to that at all as far as, uh, you know, how these units are going to perform when it gets very, very hot out or, or very cold out? Are we going to see any differences in performance there? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's going to be a case-by-case -case basis. Sure. So we definitely have that specification depending on what the product is. Um, so we talk about 100 and at 120 degrees being at 70% capacity, uh, things like that. So we will have some of that. So Okay. <laughs> when can contractors start looking to see some of the, the specifications? And uh, for those that maybe are in the multifamily, some of the submittals, you know, you know what are they looking for as far as uh, being able to have uh, that information available? Yeah, so we're here in early March, uh -huh. and uh, the multifamily heat pump specifications have been released already. So um, those are out there, in, in prim preliminary, um, mm -hmm. and we will finalize those as we get closer to launch. But all those preliminary specs are there. And we have the AC finished, and we will be sending them any time now. So, any timeline on matchups and 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 that being loaded um, up? We have a lot of matchups. There are rules on how we how early we can release those. So mm -hmm. those will be coming well before the launch, but okay. they are not out yet. Well, Sally, I really appreciate you coming out here. Thank you so much for joining us. Any last thoughts that you have for our audience or our guests? Um, we're just excited. This has been a great opportunity. We get to work closely with engineering in the field, um, and we're just excited. Well, thank you again so much, Sally. And for all of our listeners out there, please, if you like this episode, you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, make sure that you follow us so that you can be informed of all of the upcoming episodes that we have. Sally, thank you so much. Thank you.